Hello and welcome to MTG Deck Tech. Today we're gonna try to win every card in a standard and we're gonna play a red cavalcade of Calamity decks. Um, I was on the Mythic cast this uh, today I'm with this deck so if you want to find out more about this deck get a deep dive uh, I recommend you check that out I will link it in the description and yeah let's just get right into it see how the cavalcade deck does against uh, the decks in the format uh, it used to be last season it was very good against um, against uh, these new brews from Eldrain, but uh, as people have uh, come back to playing things like Field of the Dead, um, let's see if it uh, actually will work. So I will need to win 12 games uh, while losing less than two games uh, to get every card in standard. Uh, let's see. <laughs> I'm not sure if uh, that is a realistic thing. You'll have to have a lot of luck uh, to get that, but it's certainly possible. Uh, I will be um, playing Red Cavalcade after, uh, in case I, I lost two games here, um, just to just to not be obvious if I won or lost the challenge. So you will have to see uh, while watching this video if I can actually do it. Okay, it looks like a Cavalcade mirror here. Tin Street Dodger and uh, very relevant card in this deck, a very often played card. Fervent Champion, one of my most favorite cards in this deck, just to be able to pump themselves uh, next turn. But my opponent already got the, cal the Calamity on the field. So let's hope we can interact somehow. So I will be playing Light Up the Stage to get uh, some card advantage. And just hitting him for four will be nice. On the draw, this deck is uh, really not that great. Um, I have a much lower win rate on the draw and now my uh, PC is at its peak performance. And there's the cavalcade. Okay, so next turn I will be able to do some things. My opponent has two cavalcades. That's okay, I can... I could kill one of his creatures. Let's see what I'll actually do here. Of course I'll play the Calamity. So I will get 6 damage at least next turn. So I'd rather I'd either play Light of the Stage or a Shark. I think playing the shock is the safer option here on the ginger brute uh, because the ginger brute can gain some life and we want to be faster. There's another ginger brute. Yeah, I was, I was expecting that, so that's why I played the shock and not the light up the stage, just to preserve my life total here. Okay, so I will probably have to win this turn, but I can do that with Chandra. Good game. So first match on the on the draw, and I won. Uh, it's very nice. I like this start. If I win on the draw, I'll certainly win on the play too. Doesn't really follow, but I'm, I'm hoping. So as you can see, this games, these games don't take very long. So my, my video won't be that long. As you, not as long as you might expect uh, trying to get 12 uh, wins. I did have a very nice win rate with this deck at uh, Mythic last season. 
I uh, sprung up to the top t 1200 but I had a bad last day so I didn't get in. This is almost a perfect draw. I can curve up into the Torbran uh, turn 4 if I get one more land. I'm, I am on the play uh, on the draw against but unless my opponent does something good here I could be able to win two in a row on the draw. So yeah, I'd, I had about a 70% win rate on the play, but only like 40% or under 40% on the draw. So it's very important for me to be on the draw to have the luck this way, but when I have these kind of draws on the draw, it's okay. Okay, I will just kill the fencing axe. So it's some kind of Boros Legion deck I, I guess I'm facing. To have the double striker and uh, pump it up will be the plan. Probably. But I didn't see a red mana yet so it might just be mono white. So I think next turn I'm gonna play Chandra, Chandra Spitfire, and the turn after that I will either play, or I could shock the Charming Prince. Either that or I keep the shock for the Spitfire. No, I think I'm gonna shock the Charming Prince, get my first Calamity trigger here. Let's see what my opponent has in store. Not that much as it looks. So let's see what Torbrain can do. And this is why Torbrain is so so strong. Only two cards, Cavalcade and Fervent Champion doing six, six damage. Uh, this game can get out of hand very fast with the Torbrain. My opponent doesn't get rid of it. Maybe he has Conclave Tribunal or something. Not sure yet what he wants to do. Because he's playing white and he doesn't have that many creatures on the field. Interesting. Interesting. So I think I'm gonna attack before playing Chandra Spitfire. Maybe he has some kind of counter counter strike when, uh, the, when the creature is attacking. Maybe I shouldn't have Attack with Torbran. We will see. Okay. So they can get rid of Torbran now. But they don't. Interesting. Very interesting. Oops. Yeah. I think so too. It was an oopsie. That looks like like the second win almost here. Of course, with this challenge, I could be playing against anyone. Uh, he doesn't have any pet, so he might not pay that much for the game. Um, of course, is a big disadvantage in trading card games like Magic. But yeah, one one more trigger of Cavalcade will be enough. So I'm just gonna swing and win. Should have called it GG earlier, but I didn't know if they had anything. So the first two wins in the books. This whole video has only taken nine minutes so far, so we're we're pretty fast. Which is what I like about the deck. Very impatient guy, as I said on the Mythic cast as well just like to know whether I'm gonna win or lose and to winning twice in a row on the draw with this deck is very nice I can build on that ah, this is this is a dangerous hand I don't have any level one uh, turn one but I do have 
solid late game option so I'm gonna just try to get through this next turn I can play the the regulator or just triumph their card away also another one without a pet so once upon a time spawn of mayhem isn't that great against me in this matchup could have Chandra's triumphed the knight but I think I'm gonna wait till I see what my opponent's gonna play I will be getting some pressure with the Krankle though so my opponent has to really watch out what they want to do next turn I will have a lot of options Okay, the Ratchet Song. So... I will be ta playing Torbran. I'm just waiting what my opponent does. Of course, the Ratchet Song will get rid of uh, his cards, which is nice for me. I will probably use the Chandra's Triumph at some point on the Ratchet Song. Ooh, the Great Henge is not, not great for me. And the Questing Beast. Okay, I'm, I'm happy I haven't played Chandra. Because the Questing Beast would just get rid of it. But the board state doesn't look that great. Okay, what can I do now? I can play Chandra and Chandra's Triumph. But I could also just kill the Questing Beast with Chandra's Triumph. And the Knight of the Eden Legion won't be able to pump itself. So I will just play Chandra Acolyte of Flames. Make some tokens. And swing in for a lot of damage. Krenko will not be killed here. Also Torrent is safe. And I have two blockers. So this match has turned around quite nicely for me. Even though my opening hand wasn't optimal, it was good enough. So I could get rid of the Regisor next turn, activating Chandra. But do I want to do that? Probably win anyway. Knight might be pumpable. So I have to watch out not shocking that one. Well, now I can. I can also shock the spawn of mayhem. Oh no, no, I can't. It looks like it's best for me to just make some more tokens. So I can get through with one, which is three damage. Making four tokens. I think I won this game. Let's see. I can also pump them up with uh, Castle Ember Wrath. So yeah, I think that's just GG. Oh no. Oh yes, I would be able to pump them with Castle Ember. Is it sorcery speed though? No, it isn't. Okay, nice. GG. Okay, that's the third game. I'm fe feeling pretty nice about this. So I can at least get some, some individual card rewards. Uh, if I'm not uh, doing the 12 wins, which I probably won't even with this great start. I will be getting some, some good things out of it.
hope my sound is all right. I tried it a bit uh, before. Sometimes it worked, sometimes it didn't. And I'm on the draw again. But my hand looks pretty nice. I don't have Torbran or the Cavalcade. But otherwise, it's pretty okay. Shandos Regulator can help me get these cards. Okay, it's a Boros deck. Boros or more more colors than Boros. Being on the draw, it's always nice to have a tap land here. It's a gate stack. Okay. It's a gate stack. So I want to play regulator, even though it it's not optimal for my attack with the Tin Street Dodgers. And again, I don't show the Tin Street Dodger. Next turn, I will be able to play Cranko. Do I want to play the Spitfire? No, I think I'm gonna play Cranko first. Even though Spitfire could could have been nice to draw some kind of removal. But it would cost me a bit of tempo. Okay, now it turns out I should have played the Spitfire. Because my opponent isn't doing anything. Might have some kind of sweeper laying around. But until now, it hasn't happened. And they let just let me just beat their face. So I'm very vulnerable to a sweeper though. But man, do I get a lot of board presence here. This could just be it here right now. There's not a lot my opponent can do. Sweeper would help them somehow a bit. Yeah, expected that. Let's see if I can find something nice. And that's a Chandra. That's a Chandra with Chandra's Regulator. This is why the card is so amazing. And this is another win. This is uh, looking to be much better than expected here. I underestimated how many not so experienced players uh, I get drawn to. And I got a Beast Whisperer. Nice. Rare individual card rewards, always very nice. So, four wins. We are third of the way there. We didn't have our one loss uh, that, we could, wait, that we can have. This looks like a very nice hand again, I'm, and I'm going first. Have the cavalcade turn two. Might be having problems with the mana base. I need more lands. Other than that, perfect, perfect. So depending on what my opponent have, I might be able to get another win here pretty soon. So this event is uh, shaping out for me. So I, I will play Cranko because my opponent hasn't shown me any anything yet. Warboss is a bit faster, but with Cranko I'll be able to pump out a lot of tokens and this can get out of hands pretty fast. Let's see what my opponent has here. Body Razor. It's okay. Okay, they take the shock, so I'm guessing they have some kind of sweeper. But I'm not really in the position to play around the sweeper. I just have to hit them and hope I'll win before they get my creatures off the battlefield. So I'm guessing ritual of suit or something for my opponent. Light up the stage is very nice here. And there's the tall brand. Okay. 
This will be a big decision for me. Yeah, the hero of suit, I thought so. Could get either the Torbran or Calamity and the Regulator. As I don't have creatures, I'm gonna play the Torbrand to have some board presence. My opponent might play something like Murderous Rider. Narset, okay. So I will be able to attack next turn for 4 damage. And it looks like my opponent didn't find anything with Narset. Okay. So I'm just gonna attack their face. There's a Tin Street Dodger. I was debating with myself if I should play the light up the stage first. I would have won the game. Maybe I should have done that. Let's see if my opponent has any sweeper. Even if they have, I will be able to get rid of another card with Shanda's Regulator. Ooh, that's the ritual. That's bad. But it won't get rid of Torbran, so I should still be winning the game. Yes, I won this one. And this deck is uh, just going off on the opponent. On the opponent. Already have 5 wins here. So when I, in the event I needed them the most, they come to me, the wins. And that's Clackbridge Troll. Another rare card reward. Very nice. We'll open the packs uh, after these games. Because I'll get uh, some of them in the Mastery Pass. Another great hand. I am on the draw. So what I would need here, ide ideally, or ideally, would be a free drop. Okay. There is a free drop. So it looks like mono black for my opponent. I've played a lot with this deck, so I know what it's doing. Even though I never played with a golden egg. This is cavalcade. Oh my god. This draw is so amazing. I'm having so much luck in this uh, event. do I get rid of? Chandra's Regulator seems like a win more card because I have all the cards I need really. Would need another another land for the Torbran in the next two turns. Ooh, drill bit. So they probably get rid of Chandra if they're... yes. Okay, but I will be able to go off with Torbrand next turn. They don't know that, of course. So if they don't leave any blockers, this will hurt. But they will leave some blockers, so... Maybe I find something else to play, other than the Torbrand. It's scared of the murderous rider. And I'm also thinking right now maybe I should have kept the regulator. Because I'm now flooding a mountains. Yeah, that's the murderous rider. Was afraid of that one. Probably one of the reasons they didn't take uh, Chandra. Uh, or they did take Chandra and didn't take the Torbrand. But 
as you're missing one tower brand, there's another one. My opponent will be able to gain life each turn. I just hope I can hit him for more. Tin Street Dodger and Torbrand combo with Cavalcade uh, should be able to hit him for more. But he's already looking at Torbrand, so maybe there's another Murderous Rider or something like that coming up. Other than that, I look pretty fine here. Again. Yeah, my opponent is trying to tick their life up. Nothing I can do here with the mountain, of course. We'll keep it in hand to be... to have a, a threat of maybe I can play something. But I almost won there. I was curious he didn't attack with the murderous rider, probably because of Torbrand. Almost, most likely because of Torbrand. So now he's gonna go through his food. But this is not a strategy they can keep up forever. As they don't have any hands any cards in hand. And if I get a good card here it's, it's just game over. It's Castle Emberith. This is not as bad as it seems because I can activate it. And Tin Streak Dodger will do an another point of damage. But it still shouldn't be enough. No, it's not enough. Would have been they didn't play the cauldron. But my bot treasure is very nice. So if my opponent doesn't find a murderous rider or something again, this will be epic. Another cauldron. Guess that should be it. Uh, maybe not to sacrifice food. But they don't for some reason. Very interesting. Okay. So I'll take that. If I'm remembering correctly, we're halfway there. And another rare card reward. I'm so lucky today with the matches and also with my rewards from the daily wins. So we're halfway there. starting to get real the prospect of maybe actually I mean 11 wins would be awesome as well because I would get every card of front of Eldrain this looks like a great door again missing the two drops if I draw a cavalcade next turn I, I've probably just won this game again because I'm on the play and I have some nice cards So yeah, the meme on Twitter was that everyone is playing uh, Yarok Field of Dead. Um, but that doesn't seem to be much of the case here. Or Golos, Golos Fields, not, not necessarily Yarok. I've uh, saw, seen uh, one field deck so far. The others were sort of all over the place. And I think the meta I saw so this point suited my deck very well. Playing a Shockland against Cavalcade deck. It's pretty interesting. But it looks like this could be another field deck or maybe Simic Ramp. Could, could be Simic Ramp, of course. So I will dodge with the Dodger. And play light up the stage so I didn't get my two drops not ideal but next turn I will have a lot of things I can do
growth spiral so this yeah i saw it coming field of the dead so i'll have to win pretty fast i'm just gonna get rid of the grazer to have my spitfire unblocked when it finally hits uh, the battlefield but of course next turn i'll probably just play top run. Ooh. Already the circuitous route. Okay, this complicates things. Depending on what I draw, I might play the Spitfire. Instead of the Torbrand. Okay, Torch Carrier. But we don't have any way to pump the Spitfire, so Torch Carrier isn't as impactful here. Would need a cavalcade. That would be very nice. But as it stands now, I'll have to hope on Torbran doing work. But my opponent does have a lot of mana. So they could just sweep me away. Fair is also not bad. Gives them even more tempo. Oh boy, there are gonna be some, some tokens coming. Can't really do anything against that. So at this point I'm hoping I'll draw the cavalcade soon. There it is. Okay, now now we're cooking. Um Torch Courier. Might Thinking about shocking the Teferi. But I sh probably shouldn't do that because I wanna pump up the Spitfire. So I might just win next turn with the Spitfire. Doesn't really matter what my opponent uh, does in terms of getting even more tokens. Because I can just play the Spitfire attack with all my creatures after giving a taste with the torch courier play a shock on them and then they just should have enough power to just kill them like it. and it doesn't look my, like my opponent has anything to block it with so yeah this looks nice even though my top rank got bounced i should be able to win if my opponent doesn't have a sweeper, of course, they will be able to play sorcery speed sweepers. There's the Grazer. Okay. This is bad for me. This is very bad for me. <sighs> Won't be able to do anything against it. Okay, brainstorm time. I'm gonna lose next round. So with Torbran, I'm gonna have six. Probably my best chance to just go with the Torbran. So I, I'll have to see. So I will be doing six damage with these two. Oh, sorry. I will be doing twelve damage with these two. Yeah, I think should be exactly enough if I'm correct with my math. Oh no, because I will be blocked. Well, had to lose at some point. Didn't have the mana to make them unblockable, that's what I didn't calculate. So maybe I should have gone for the light of the stage. Or oh, I probably should have gone for the light of the stage. Yeah, what? What you're gonna do? Sometimes these mistakes happen. Um. Hope my game wasn't too loud here. New microphone settings. Just saw that it might be a little loud. Just turn down my, my game a bit here. OK, 
Canuts just winning or going out of the tournament, the event, and I'm on the draw. But I do have Cavalcade in hand, which is nice. I'm really hoping this is not Simic Flash because I'm losing against Simic Flash a lot with this deck. So if they have just got a Quench in hand and Quench my Cavalcade, this could just be game over for me. But it's Field of the, of the Dead again. And I have a good curve against it. So let's see what we can do. Another mountain in the next two turns and we will have Torbren again. On turn four. With a cavalcade. So everything looks to be working out. Let's see what light of the stage can bring. Having your opponent at 13 life after 3 turns is nothing to snub at. And it doesn't look like my opponent can play a sweeper yet. And this circuitous route won't be enough. So I'm not doing the calculations right now but I think I just won that again. Just playing Torren and swinging with everything. Fervent champions will uh, pump themselves out or each other out and the cavalcade will do the rest so gg yeah so this is this is the strength of the cavalcade deck you just do so much damage and we're at seven wins so i will be already getting a lot of good cards but now that I'm this far, I of course want to get 11 or 12. 12 would be totally mind blown. But I do have to win every game. It's okay. I go first. Footlight Fiend is not great because I have a lot of one power creatures. Need to shock them to get the light up the stage, which is not optimal, but what you're gonna do. Okay, so it looks like Chandra is the play next round. Okay, whatever my opponent's gonna do, they probably block one of them with the food light fiend, so I will be sending the torch courier as well. Hey, these little guys are great. Yeah. It's the only thing that really makes any sense. Could have just ticked up the Chandra. But I don't think I need to, because I have another Chandra in hand. Could have maybe used the torch carrier for the Cranko. Hey, go easy. I'm training here. So I will need to sacrifice a creature next turn probably because of the priest. So what I will do is play the Legion War Boss. Maybe they don't do anything before the combat step with it. No. Nope. And I will shock the priest. They probably just activate it now. No, they won't. Okay. 
So I didn't activate my Chandra. It's just an oversight. But I didn't want to get my give my opponent too many chances of actually triggering actually triggering their um, priest. But whatever I do, either Chandra or the Legion Warboss are gonna die. Since I have another Chandra, I'm gonna let it die. Legion Warboss will be able to pump one creature next turn if they don't get a blocker, and of course they get a blocker. So... I think I'm just gonna play Cranko and the Tin Street Dodger. Really hoping for Cavalcade. Otherwise, this can get out of hand pretty quickly. Rankle, okay. So they could just go, each player discards a card and get rid of my Chandra. Looks like this might be game over here for me. I don't find something really nice. Probably the only thing I can find is Cavalcade that would help me. Even Torbrand might not be enough. Each player sacrifices a creature. Okay, I'm gonna get rid of the Dodger. Because the Footlight Fiend would have been able to kill it anyway. Okay, Midnight Reaper doing some work here for my opponent. So, might just get rid of the Midnight Reaper because I don't want to lose either Krenko or the Legion Warboss. Of course, I will sacrifice my Chandra for it. Um, but this is the thing I have to do now. We'll be getting a lot of nice tokens here. So Legion Warboss will pump the Cranko. This is an interaction I haven't really seen yet. But with this, I'll have a lot of tokens next round. Even more next round. The, the round after that. So if my opponent doesn't kill me here, could still win this match. Priest doesn't do that much, except for blocking this situation. So they will probably send Rankle at my face and Spawn of Mayhem to, to Chandra or to my face. If they send it to my face that would be probably game over for them. Unless there is something else they can do. Okay they send Rankle at Chandra. So they can't activate the Rankle abilities if they do that. It's probably not the best thing for them. Yeah, this is this is a hard decision for them to make. Okay. Does priest have summoning sickness on my turn? This is the question. Good game. Okay, good game. Yes, it, already, it has a summoning sickness. I wasn't wasn't sure because it comes up so so seldomly, but yeah, of course it does have summoning sickness. So eight wins. Three quarters of the way there, we have used our one loss, but it's still very possible to win here. Even if I don't, I will be getting a lot of individual card rewards which I'm looking forward to I have gotten some some rare cards in the individual card rewards of uh, today in the normal rewards but more is always better so this is a very nice event I like it just to get get your collection going I am on the draw again 
it's a mediocre hand. I don't have um, either Torbran or the Cavalcade, but I will be drawing hopefully better cards. This actual innkeeper. <sighs> Am I gonna? I think I'm gonna get rid of it next turn. Hello to you too. But this might come out to bite me, because they might just play an adventure now. Or an adventure, adventured creature card. Of course, Order of Midnight can't block, so it's not relevant right now for me. But I think the actual Innkeeper will become relevant, so I'm just gonna get rid of that. Swinging for four. This is why I love Fervent Champions so much. They give you a lot of power in the early game, as I already said on uh, the Mythic cast. So I'm wondering what I will do this turn. Could go Spitfire, could go Dodger into Light Up the Stage. As I don't have anything to um, make the Chandra Spitfire bigger with right now, I'll probably go the Tin Street Dodger uh, Light Up the Stage route. Or I could just play Chandra. But no, that's probably not, not great. Need to find a cavalcade here. Also gonna do a lot of damage again. So Fervent Champion, my MVP this game. In a lot of games really. Two mountains. Okay, to get rid of them uh, for the next turns. But not something you want to hit if you light up the stage in this point. Okay. Love struck beast. Can attack me. Can block either way. That's another mountain. So I will cast the Spitfire now. Get in with the Dodger. So this could really go either way. If they don't get rid of the Spitfire, I can make it onto a 4 powered creature. And playing Chandra and getting Rebecca Shock, but... That won't be enough quite. But it would be enough if I attack with every other other creature. If my opponent doesn't have anything more to do here. I'm not gonna block that Order of Midnight. I never know if my opponent has a shock in hand. Don't wanna risk that for two damages. Cause Spitfire is my uh, win condition right now. Okay, my opponent's still building their board. Not really grasping what I will be able to do. Which is a lot of damage. So if my opponent doesn't have any card to interact, this is uh, game over again. <laughs> okay. Let's see what you got. Probably Bone Crusher Giant.
Okay, so it's not game over yet. If I draw a cavalcade, it's just over. Otherwise, it could take one or two turns. Mm, this will help him. More life. Okay, that's a shock. So let's see, we'll have two mana available. Okay, I need to play that anyway. So if we make two tokens, we can get through to them with some creatures. We'll be getting rid of the 1-1, one -one, so the Lovestruck Beast can't attack. Making some tokens. Making the Tin Street Dodger evasive and just swing for the fences here. So they will need to sacrifice the Smitten, smitten sword, master, sword Master at some point. They will do that. My opponent, of course, has a lot more cards in hand than I have. I don't have any. But my board state looks uh, much better. If I draw any of my great cards like Torbran or Cavalcade, this is just over. But until then, let's see what we can do. Bonecrusher Giant is very bad. This destroys my whole board. So yeah. And they have a 1-1. One, one. Okay, this, this should just be the game. Yeah, this, this is the event for me. So we got a lot of wins in. 7 wins. So in order to make it seem uh, more exciting at the start or, or eight wins we got so did get a lot of rare card rewards let's see what my packs are saying packs that I got oh it's Kalia nice don't really have any decks to use it uh, yet but maybe they will come around And an Oathsworn Knight. I think it's an overrated card. Haven't seen it be great in anything yet. So yeah, I'm just gonna play some ranked with the Cavalcade. So I'm a, a bit disappointed because it started so well and continues to be so well, but yeah. If you have t three quarters of the wins you need, you you want to have the next quarter. But then again, I got a lot farther than I expected with this deck. It's just magic. 12 wins with only one loss is almost impossible. I knew that from the start and we all knew that. But uh, yeah, it looked like I could actually get, get there. So that's nice. Okay, just hard casting Fay of Wishes, so looks like that is uh, an Asp uh, uh, Jeskai Planeswalker deck. Um, Fay of Wishes 
can do wonders if they let it untapped because my Shandro Spitfire could get out of hand next turn by me sacrificing Torch Courier. But it looks like Cavalcade will be bounced anyways. And they won't tap Fay of Wishes, I think. Would be stupid. Okay, so tempo of advantage for my opponent. I'm not gonna show the Spitfire. And they won't know I'm working towards Torbran. Just gonna kill the Teferi. Innocent looking, just playing the game out normally. So of course this is Platinum Elo. Um, as I start in Platinum each uh, month when I get to Mythic. So I've played a lot of this Jeskai deck, I might do a deep dive, although I haven't really gotten it working that well. Where I say, oh my god, this uh, deck is so good. But Torbran will do a lot of work in combination with Cavalcade here. So I'll probably play the Spitfire next turn. Yeah, Drawn from Dreams, very nice in this deck. I should put more in my deck, thinking about it. Just to have better cards. I do have four Narsets in this deck. And that's Prison Realm for the top run, okay. So if I play Scorch Splitter and Chandra, might be able to get an attack out of the Fay of Wishes. And I didn't show the Spitfire yet. As I said before, in the Mythic cast, Scorch Splitter or Scorch Spitter, most of the times just a distraction. To distract from what I'm really trying to do, which is save the Torch Carrier. So maybe they think I have another Torbrand. I hope they go after the Scorch Spider. Because they don't know about my Chandra Spitfire. If they knew about it, it's more likely they would go with the Scorch Spider. If they have any removal, they might just go Deafening Clarion and just win the game here. But let's see. Two Drawn from Dreams in succession give them a lot of great cards. Might even play Sarkin here. <laughs> yeah, there it is. Sarkin with his minus three. Also almost kills my stuff, but I can get back shock. But Chandra Spitfire would just get eaten by this dragon. So I'm I'm not happy. I will play the, the Spitfire because I need to do something, my opponent's getting really out of hand. But I won't be able to attack with it. Which sucks. So I'm really hoping for Torbran here. To uh, combine with the Scorch Spitter. And do a lot of damage. Just 6 damage and uh, if it's not blocked, 9. Still, this wouldn't help me that much. Sorry, 
was to be expected with Teferi. Now they can attack Chandra without worrying about anything. Doesn't look too great for me, I have to say. Now it really doesn't look winnable to me. I don't know of any card I could draw that would save me. So I'm just gonna look real quick at what I draw and then just probably screw it up. That's another cap cat. This does give me more damage, but it's not enough. It's just not enough. At all. And I can't do anything. I can't pass the turn back. Because my opponent's just gonna beat me down with the planeswalkers and the dragons and Yeah. So I haven't climbed very much this season still trying around with some decks I have some uh, act of tre treason based uh, deck um, that I'm working on or just um, claim the first one I think is the card from Eldraine that uh, just gets uh, your opponent's creatures and sacrifices it it surprisingly works also well against control decks even though they don't have creatures to take Except for maybe Murderous Rider. But I'll have to do some work on it. In order to be able to play it well. That's a Cavalcade. Very nice. Scorch Spitter. Just because it needs some time. And I want to draw a shock. There's no sh no shock coming, but there will be some damage coming from me. Not the greatest first two turns, but I'm setting up pretty nicely. Okay, the Regisaur is something to worry about. So I can get Torbrand next turn. Even playing Triumph and Shock, I'm not gonna get rid of the Regisaur, so I'm just gonna pass the turn, which always feels bad. But my opponent will have to discard cards, as long as this Regisaur is on the field. So I hope they attack with the Regisaur, so I can go off with Torbrand next turn in the Cavalcade. Might just be attacking anyways, even though I'll lose creatures. Okay, Bone Crusher Giant complicates the issue. But as I expected, Regisaur will be attacking, so my Fervent Champion will get through for 6 damage total. If they don't have a 1-drop, they do have a 1-drop, of course. But it's not a big deal, because they won't be able to block with it. They might just be blocking with it, uh, because they forget about Torbran. Let's see. Yes, very nice. Not gonna spend the nice emote here. I wanna be, don't wanna be toxic. 
just platinum, so never know how, how much they've played the game. Although they do have the, the cat, so they have played a lot of matches. Ah, Murderous Rider, okay. So now I need something big. Okay, another cavalcade. Uh, won't be enough. So I will need to keep the fervent champion here blocking. So that looks like my opponent's gonna win. Yeah, no, they don't. Then they certainly will win. GG. So actually I'm getting a bit tired of this deck, so I want to show you the Treason deck I worked on and play a, a few matches with that. Um, hope you don't mind. So this will have like normal things like Call Them Familiar and Witches Oven, this, this combo that can just go off and generally things that want to sacrifice, the Mayhem Devil, um, Shandor which sacrifices, Murderous Rider of course in every deck um, that plays these kind of cards. Ayara, I'm not sure about yet. I've put her in uh, for now. Um, let's see. And yeah, just the normal normal things in the sacrifice deck, uh, instead, except for having claim the firstborn and act of treason to grab some creatures of the opponent to sacrifice. So we'll see how this goes. Always like to to change my my deck up some. Um, yeah, probably not put it in the tag, as I don't want to spoil anything for people watching, and uh, thinking, oh, will he be able to reach uh, the end of this challenge? Looks okay. I'm I'm really not that comfortable predicting if my hand is good with this deck. So I will have four lands which can help me with the Fable Passage. It won't have to be um, tapped. Okay, they just draw, drew uh, once upon a time as a free card in the second turn. You don't see that that often. Means they didn't have anything on turn one. Um, so right now I would go with the Dreadhot Butcher, so they can decide if they want to keep their Paradise Druid or if they want to let my Dreadhot Butcher get out of hand. Yeah, that's what what I would have done. But just slowing down the mana ramp is okay for me right now. Reveler can get rid of one of these excess mountains and the mayhem devil. Okay, so I will be playing a Yara next turn and see where we go from there. Could have played also the blood crypt, get to my third swamp here, but will be flexible if I want to lose the life or don't. Smarty can just attack, Pelt Collector won't do anything against it. Have to watch out if it gets too big, but then again I have claimed the first spawn and stuff like that I can draw. Exactly for this reason. It's the Priest of the Forgotten Gods, okay. This could be a very nice turn. So... Probably just play the spawn of mayhem. Just to be able to attack the Vivian next turn because I don't want Vivian to get out of control. Because Pelted Collector is already big. It could just kill the Ayara with the uh, minus ability of Vivian. 
so I wanted to have uh, pressure on the Vivian, Vivian so they might not play the minus ability here. Um, yeah. So claim the first spawn would be amazing here. Would play the Mayhem Devil and then claim the first spawn and it's not good for them. It doesn't look great if I do that. But Pelt Collector will get to be very big. Great Hand is always a bad card to have against you, just for the life gain and the mana. So they look to be pretty much in the game here. I really need to claim the first bone. Or Act of Treason would do it, do it as well, I guess. So if I attack Vivian, they won't be able to do uh, the minus ability next turn. Which is nice. They will be able to go off with Growth Chamber Guardian, Guardians pretty soon. And I'm just doing, drawing blanks right now. So next turn I can sacrifice something with the priest, but I don't have any sacrifice fodder, really, except for the muddy Rebeler. Yeah, the Great Henge is doing, doing a lot of things right here, and Vivian also. It's always hard to play against these green decks, I'm never quite, quite sure what to do, I don't play that much control. So I don't have any sweepers in my decks and green most of the time just stumps me, really. Yeah, Grey Tench also combines very well with the Gross Chamber Guardian because it doesn't have to adapt. I don't know where the second plus one plus one counter came from right there, I'm not sure. Oh yeah, it's because of Grum Gully. Interesting. Looks like a nice deck. <laughs> Already wanting to try it uh, just because I'm going to lose against it probably this one time. So the, those are all the Growth Chamber Guardians that are available. I think I just lost this match. But they don't have any reach against uh, Spawn of Mayhem yet. But yeah, trying to block all these creatures will be very difficult. Especially if the Pelt Collector is getting any bigger. do anything so I think I'm gonna do one or two more matches to have a realistic time frame order to sell the fact that I might be able to win this 12 12 win challenge As you see, this deck will have to have some work done. Maybe I'm gonna gravitate to another deck entirely. I have played some, some Jess Skywalkers. Might want to try that with more Drawn from Dreams. So this is basically just mono black, <laughs> except it isn't.
So I'm gonna look how my fantasy team is doing. Is it still losing? I bet it is. So it's uh, football uh, right now. NFL. My team is named out of luck because Andrew Lux is not playing anymore. And my opponent had Deshaun Watson today. Yeah, I'm, I'm gonna lose my fifth game here. <laughs> Not even watching anymore. It's too hard for me to come to terms with my team being this bad. Okay, two innkeepers. They may not want to block with them just because they want to go off with them. So I will have a chance to play a spawn of mayhem. So for newer magic players, this is something you want to watch out for. If you have a free attack, if you are pretty certain your opponent won't block because they need the ability of the creature uh, and it would die, they probably won't do it. Um, and you can just take the free attack and get your spectacle cost, for example, or just get one damage in or more. Last game was, was a counter example with the Dreadheart, uh, the Dreadheart Arcanist, I think it is, and um, them blocking it. Do I really want to get rid of the innkeeper? I have to use my mana, so yeah, let's just do it. Don't want them to have too much card advantage, even though I have the ball advantage. This really wasn't the optimal starting hand. I'm flooding a bit here. And that's an Assassin's Trophy. Oh well. I think I'm gonna lose this match. Yeah, I'm not really sold yet on this deck. Maybe definitely need some fine tuning and maybe it won't work at all. But I saw on it, I seen it on MTG Arena that pro. Uh, where I find a lot of my decks and just tweak them. Could claim the first pawn, that wouldn't help me at all. So I will play Murderous Rider. This is again, they won't block with Edwell Innkeeper, so I just attack. And I don't need the 1 1 blocker as well. Even though I won't be able to block with Murderous Rider. Especially not the Questing Beast. Won't be able to block. So what I would need to have is Priest of the Forgotten Gods. I can do some Hail Mary with the Edgewall Innkeeper, the Murderous Rider. Get another card. And another Motherless Rider, so the Hail Mary paid off. Just gonna attack. I'm gonna get rid of these four more, more knights. Because I hate Death Touch. And I'm gonna get some life back, at least. So this, this could have gone worse. Still needs something. I have only lands on the battlefield, really. And these two creatures but my opponent has all these cards in hand so maybe i will try to build some adventure decks they look pretty pretty fun at least to play even though i'm not sure if they are really that impactful could see myself building some green black with the, the garrick find okay not many people play find especially if you have like the midnight reaper available then again it seems to be working right now mayhem devils okay Still would need something to, to sacrifice. But I'm just gonna gain more life. Because my murderous rider won't 
be able to do anything else anyways. And Questing Beast will continue to beat me down. They also have the food token. You can get them through. They basically have 14 life instead of uh, 11, which you always have to consider. And they just have too much card advantage with the actual innkeeper. So this is a card I underestimated a bit. Can do a lot of things here in this deck specifically. Okay, which is often now now we're talking. Now we're talking. So I could do the shenanigans on their turn. I think I'm just gonna do it on my turn to see. But it doesn't doesn't really really matter that much. Probably lose anyway. But I can get rid of the innkeepers. So there might still be a, a long shot for me. Okay, exiling it is the only thing that can really hurt it. The cauldron. Okay, this fall mine knight attacking will probably mean that I can attack next turn with both Mayhem Devil and Murderous Rider. Which is nice. Could claim the firstborn here. It's probably what I would want to do at this point. And I will want to get Curious Pair because it has the highest toughness. But do I even want to get it? Can just kill things with the Chandra. I probably want to want to do something here against their bot state. So yeah, my Chandra won't survive this turn. But they, would, they wouldn't be able to survive anyway because of the questing beast. So I still have a long, sh long shot here. Act of treason would be would be very nice. Should probably put more of them in the deck, even though they cost three mana. So I'm giving them the choice on whether to kill the rider or the butcher. Either way I'm going to sacrifice it of course. So 
but will I be going to their face? Should have attacked with the Mayhem Devil, that might have been a better better move here. But I think I'm just gonna kill the order. Yeah, I should have totally attacked with the Mayhem Devil, I, I didn't know what I was thinking. Could have won this. Oh, uh, probably not because of the food. But now I can win it. Oh my god. This deck is so amazing, it's something I have to get used to, but... But does it, does it register? Yeah, it does register before the food. So yeah, winning at instant speed right here. It's a nice tech. Underestimated a little bit. I think I'm going to bring in another act of treason. And yeah, what I'm gonna get rid of, I don't know yet. Maybe one AR or so. The mana cost is a bit hefty. So let's see what, what the pack gives us. That's an Amber Cleave. Nice. If I want to build a Night deck in the future. So I'm doing another match. This will be the last match. Because it's uh, realistic with uh, one and a half hours that you could have won 12 games. It's more than realistic. And it isn't too long as to be unrealistic. Like, as to be unrealistic again. Okay, the castle lock wing isn't perfect. I want to get another swarm, please. Nope. Not today. Okay. But I do have a lot of ways to grab opponent's creatures here. Should have played the castle first. Oh well, now it doesn't matter. So yeah, get rid of your healer sock. Get rid of your other th other healer's hawk. Leave the Pegasus hanging. Okay, that's Tomic. So this is Mono White. Hmm. I will play the Mayhem Devil. I hope next turn I get a land to play the Cauldron and then the Spawn of Mayhem. Or just to get away to sacrifice would be nice against this deck as well as a mountain. Shouldn't have played the cauldron. Don't have mana for the spawn of man now. I really should have thought about that. Well, it's getting late for me at least in Germany. So my decisions aren't the best, which is uh, fitting with that being the last match for me. Because <laughs> I'm not really getting better at all. And the Sephara. But I can grab the Sephara. But I won't be able to do anything with it. So I might just play this bomb here. But then they will attack. Four, five, six. Or lethal. Okay, so I need to grab the Sephara.
he's getting a bit of life or a lot of life in this this way yeah my opponent can just swing they won't though okay then I'm just gonna play the spawn and let's see what we can do and the next turn one claim the first one remaining which is often would be nice Would have needed that a bit earlier to get rid of the Safara. Okay, now my opponent is swinging. Interesting. Of course, these creatures will have indestructible, so it doesn't even matter that I block them. But I will have one life remaining, so I need to win in, at this turn. Which seems to be pretty impossible right here. So my opponent left one blocker that I need to get. Yeah, this just seems like a lost game. Okay, well, this deck does need some fine tuning. Okay, GG. So with this, I'll leave you at that. I hope you had fun uh, watching me try to win the event. And if you watched until this point, you're probably having fun watching me uh, play these games um so i will try to do another deck tech soon i will be doing less videos though uh, because i'll working i'll be working on my master's thesis a lot um but i will be here from time to time and showing you the next uh, freshest decks until then uh, i wish you a good night or a good day whatever is your time zone and yeah thank you for watching